Today, I'm going to show you how to assemble and disassemble your Billet Pro rotary engine plate. This is how your Billet Pro engine plate will come packaged. In the box, it will come with some spare O-rings and your Billet Pro locking ring tool. All Billet Pro engine plates come pre-assembled, ready to go out of the box. All suitable block offs for your oil feeds and O-rings behind the insert are pre-installed and the insert is torqued down to spec. All engine plates also come with dowels if necessary and stack gear pins. While all Billet Pro plates come ready out of the box, if you intend to do any machine work, such as studding or porting, it is necessary to remove the insert and remove the O-rings before doing so. Now we'll run through the correct disassembly, assembly and fitting of the stationary gear procedures. To disassemble the insert out of the billet plate, take your billet pro locking tool, insert it into the center of the plate. This is best done while the plate is standing upright. To remove the O-rings, simply slide or pick them out with your finger. If you intend on porting your engine, you can assemble the insert into the billet plate without any O-rings. However, take note of where the O-ring groove is to ensure you do not port through it. You can reassemble the insert into the billet plate with no O-rings for porting now. Please ensure after any machine work or porting and before final assembly that the billet plate and the insert is thoroughly cleaned. So now we'll move back onto the assembly of the engine plate. We'll take your port O-ring. Uh, sometimes they may need to be stretched just a little bit and no glue or silicon is needed to seat the O-ring. When seating the center O-ring, the same applies, you may want to stretch it just a little bit to help seat it. And again, no glue or silicon is necessary to seat the O-ring. Now when installing the insert, ensure the threads are thoroughly lubricated. And similarly for the ring, you lubricate the threads well. The ring is installed anti-clockwise when facing the insert from the back. To correctly install the ring, simply rotate counterclockwise about one thread turn and then it is ready to install in the plate. It is worth checking by threading in the locking ring all the way and having the locking ring bottom out on the bottom of the insert, the depth that the ring sits. This is not how you want to assemble the insert and locking ring. Notice how they are flush with one another. Counterclockwise to remove the locking ring. And one thread turn into the insert for assembly. Now take the Locking ring tool, insert it into the center, and with one hand, hold the insert aligned, and thread the tool and insert into the plate. Always first install the insert by hand. Notice here how the locking ring sits approximately one millimeter below the surface of the insert. This is the correct installation. To fit your stationary gear in your Billet Pro plate, you will need to heat the Billet plate and cool the stationary gear in order to fit them together, as there is a thermal interference fit between the gear and the plate. When heating the Billet plate, you can use a conventional oven 
at a temperature of approximately 240 degrees Celsius. And we recommend freezing the gear in your freezer. If you have an anodized engine like this one, you will need to be careful when heating the plate as to not overheat it as you may damage the anodizing. Just a note in relation to fitting the stationary gear, for the front gear specifically, we're only using assembly bolts as the normal bolts are too long and these will need to be removed once the plate has cooled down.